Hello, and today's topic is rents in Warler region. So we are currently, we have a provincial election coming up. We are in the four week period uh, where we have a democracy for possibly the next four years. The only part that we actually have a seem to have a say in our democracy. So I'm gonna go over what's gone on with rents and housing affordability in the region. And you can decide whether you think we need you to change in the provincial government. So let's see. Uh, we're gonna go back to May, 2018. In May, 2018, before we had our current government, uh, you, could, you could find a bachelor apartment in Waterloo Region for about $690. You could find a one bedroom for about $800, $850. You could get a two bedroom apartment for about 1100 some of the uh, newer ones were around 1300 1400 um, and then uh, three bedrooms and townhouses you could get a townhouse in 2018 may 2018 for 1425 1450 sometimes 1600 if they're uh, nicer um, and so what have those numbers done all right, so those numbers have gone from, for a, an, a bachelor apartment, um, I didn't find a bachelor apartment, I did find a 400 square foot one bedroom apartment on Kijiji, and that's listed for $1,125. That is the lowest priced um, unit I found, uh, apartment I found. Um, so $1,125 compared to $690 four years ago. And I found one bedroom, the lowest priced one bedroom apartment I found was $1,335 a month. Um, where versus four years ago, before the government change we have now, uh, we had $800 a month for a one bedroom apartment. Two bedroom apartments. The lowest uh, one that I found for a two bedroom was one was uh, 1650 uh, but most of these two bedroom apartments have been 1,800, 1,700, 2,100, some of them. Um, so that has gone up significantly. Uh, three bedroom townhouses. The lowest priced uh, uh, rental I found for a townhouse was 2,250. And some of these um, rentals are as high as 2,950, 3,000. Um, and they are, uh, so those have, those have more than doubled um, in four years. So those are some very significant costs, uh, cost increases on, um, on people in Waterloo Region. These are uh, costs that we, we need housing. Um, so what has happened to the um, housing prices? Housing prices in 2000, May 2018, before the Ford government took power, you could buy a single detached home for 220,270,000 in, in that vicinity. Um, you could buy a single detached home in Waterloo Region for that price. And uh, so the recent numbers we have, so that's gone up about $450,000. It's about tripled. So uh, the lowest I see I've seen is around 675 um, more recently. So the um, housing to own, to own a home, it's costs about triple uh, from before this government took power. And uh, to rent is, um, it's gone up uh, significantly. So I would, uh, I would suggest, uh, in my opinion, I think we need a change of government. I think Doug Ford is the wrong premier for Ontario. Um, and we should um, bring in a new government. I don't, I'm not going to tell you who to, who to um, vote for, obviously, but I'm just going to give you the facts on what has happened on housing and housing costs. And if you could please like and subscribe uh, to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And I will be putting out much more facts uh, upcoming for this election to help you decide on what you think is the right thing to do for our housing. I am, I'm not, political. Um, I actually, I'm only concerned with housing. So I follow housing, wherever that might be, we need housing. And um, that's, that's where I go. And I have actually voted for the PC party before. But this time I will not be. Um, so this time it will be somebody else. It's time for someone else to come in and clean up what Ford has 
not done a very good job of. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.